All right, uh, gonna show you how to fix the uh, power off issues with the Acer G75. This one's a G75 VW DS2. Are you kidding me? Ah. There's two known is or two issues that I know of, and one's the hibernation issue. You just uh, make sure power off energy saving is enabled. And then inside of Windows, you go ahead and you disable uh, hibernation through the power options. And that should solve that one. If you have that one, from what uh, they were saying, yours will, your system will just randomly shut off after 10 minutes. Pretty much exactly. So, But that's how they said to fix that. Mine's the graphics issue. So I got a 670M with 3 gigs. So, and I'll show you that this one likes to shut off. <laughs> as soon as this wants to load so yeah And there we go. So, I have fixed that. <sighs> if yours likes to power off as soon as you get into Windows, or as soon as it starts to go to Windows, you can do this through safe mode as well. So. You download something called a uh, NVIDIA Inspector. Uh, since it decides to load, what it does is shows off your graphics card and a lot of the good stuff. What we want is show overclocking. Just hit yes, and up here you see the uh, the power or performance level options. Uh, and like right here, it says level three and uh, six twenty megahertz and fifteen hundred megahertz for the memory clock, and but. What, what happened here is, uh, I believe Asus made this card a little too overclocked and overvolted. So you could, what I'm going to do, without messing with any of these settings here, because I don't want to screw up the graphics card any more than it already is, I'm just going to go over to P0, or P12, level 0, and this will be like power save. And level 1, P8, will be like balance mode. What I want to do is have this program restrict what my graphics card can do to just these two levels so my graphics card will never go higher than uh, 324 mem megahertz on the mem on the memory clock and 147 uh, on the shader clock so what you do with that is you right click on your program 
on NVIDIA Inspector, create a shortcut, go to Properties, and in the target area, <coughs> go all the way to the end, put a space, and then dash, set, P, level, colon, 0, comma, 1. I think that's what you do. Let me check the right one. Oh, P state limit. Okay, there we go. So, dang it. P state limit. Oh, probably help if I didn't put an E there. Yeah, and then colon zero one. And then you'd hit apply, and then you would run it. So, since I got one up here already made, close that, cancel that. I'm gonna, it's not going to do anything other than make your uh, cursor do the little Windows load thing for a second. But with that turned on, I'm going to reload GTA 5. There we go. Set my butt down. Anyway, as you can see, it, it is working. Uh, the settings for this game are, sadly enough, 800 by 600, and everything on normal or off. Like MXAA. Uh, here, let's just go show you. Uh, graphics. FXAA is off. MSAA is off. VSync is off. Uh, population density is turned off. Population variety is maxed. Distance scaling is off, and everything here is on normal, or reflection is off, and soft shadows is sharp, and all these other options down here are off. But other than the resolution size, kind of makes the game look a little tiny bit blocky, but I mean, it's playing at, I want to say, about 65, 68 frames per second at every second of the game. I've never had a bit of slowdown at all. So, while it might look blocky, it is working. So, you can't complain about that. Uh, exit game. I don't believe I can turn it up without it crashing again. So, I will just leave it because I've been able to play that for many, 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 many hours in a sitting. Without it crapping out, so. And, like Planet Side, I can play uh, decent graphics all day long without it worrying about crashing. Uh, over here it sits there and shows my GPU clock was uh, tapped at 365 but now it's sitting at 74 waiting for this to load. 
megahertz. <clears throat> This I can set at a 1280 by 768 and it works fine. I haven't tried to set it any higher because realistically I just don't care. Oh wait, no, it's a 366 by 768 because that was the only way I could get widescreen on it. So, but I can play this all day long without it screwing up or crashing or anything like that. And even though the graphics card is running pretty much a half performance, it's if it's still able to play GTA 5 at very good frame rates, it really doesn't matter what you throw at it. It'll still be able to play it pretty well, except for like Star Citizen. But you know, realistically, that game is made by an egotistical jack <laughs> jack off. That you know, oh, I I brewed a cup of coffee, so you know, I need another three million dollar donation. So screw them. Yeah, sure, let's just deploy it. Generator repaired. I don't have a tripod, so I'm one hand in the camera. But yeah, this plays a really good frame rate too, so. Let's exit out of this. You can play, uh, yeah, like I said, if you can play GTA 5 at pretty good settings, I mean, other than the resolution issue, there's really nothing you can't throw at it. Uh, if you want to make, uh, this, your NVIDIA inspector, uh, start up every time with Windows, what you'll do is, uh, uh, go down here, or click on your start button. Here, let me just show you. Get this in close so we can focus. Go to all programs. Go to startup. Right click on it and hit open. There's nothing in there, so drag your shortcut to it. And just close it up. And now every time you start Windows, it'll automatically run the NVIDIA inspector restricting your graphics card. So you won't ever have to worry about double clicking on it ever again. And I'll just go ahead and show. Shutting it off normal for once, something this system is not used to doing. Sometime this year, Windows. <sighs> la, 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 la. Uh, let's go ahead and actually screw that. Let's just start up GTA 5 again.
Off that road again. I can't wait to get off that road again. Eventually I'll get up here. Oh, of course. The freaking guardrails. Whatever. I'm surprised the car didn't blow up like it usually does. Oh, sorry. That's right, I can't flip the car when it's moving. Heaven for fend. And Franklin's ability, thank goodness. But anyway, so yeah, that's the graphics fix. Hope this video helps.